All right, so we've got a local cinema here, and they make six dollars and fifty cents um, for each ticket. So if you take the number of tickets, let's say T equals tickets, well then what? Well, if I sell one ticket, it would be one times six fifty. I'd make that much money. If I sell two tickets, you'd double it. Three tickets multiply by three. If I sold ten tickets, you'd multiply the cost of a ticket by ten. So in general, right from the beginning, we know the revenue at this company. Now revenue is the money you make before you consider stuff like salaries and other expenses. So here revenue is simply 6.5 times T. That means tickets times 6.5 dollars because that's how much each ticket is worth. <coughs> However, we have operating expenses like every business that I know of, right? They're expenses. So expenses mean your losses in a sense because expenses here what you lose uh, in order to make your revenue. So the expenses are $750 times the number of days, where D is days. So right, so for every day that we're operating, it costs us $750, and we can uh, assume that that's always going to be happening because they tell us that. So every day, that's what it costs to stay open. They want to know how is daily profit related to number of tickets sold. Now notice here they focus on daily profit, so they're looking at a single day. So D is equal to 1, right? So that means your expenses are equal to 750 times 1, or 750. We're only looking at one day. So your profit is what you're looking at when you say, okay, what's my revenue? R minus my expenses. So here profit is equal to my revenue, 6.5T minus 750, and that's our equation for one single day. Number of tickets times 6.5 minus 750. So for example, if I sell a thousand tickets in one day, then here's my profit. My profit is equal to 6.5 times a thousand, right? So a thousand tickets, and then take away the 750. 6.5 times a thousand is six, and then five, and then move the decimal over three times, so one, two, three, Right, or 6,500 minus 750. And that's our profit. So that equals what? So 5,000, right? 750. That's, how, that's our profit. Now, over time, you could model both right, revenue and expenses for any amount of tickets over a given amount of days just by adding that variable into your equation. So profit would equal 6.5t minus 750d. And now the tickets over any amount of days can be calculated as well. But in this problem, they want this equation right here. Both are correct. They just talk about different things. You can use this equation here. Um, and then you say, in this situation, analyze it if D equals 1. That means if you're looking at one day. And that would be this equation right here. Right? So those are connected. And the next one, rush computer repair sends technicians to businesses to fix computers. They charge a fixed fee of $50 plus $50 per hour, and we want to know uh, the total cost related to the time the repair takes. Okay, so the cost, this is from the, not the company, but the person who's paying for it. Um, $50 is the charge fix rate, so it starts at $50, and then we add $50, right, per hour. And that's it, really. I mean, here in this problem, you're starting with fifty dollars, right? And then you and then you have to pay another fifty dollars per hour after that. So if H is equal to five, what would happen? Well the cost would equal the fifty dollars to show up plus fifty dollars times five. Because it's fifty dollars per hour. So it's fifty plus two hundred and fifty. In that case the cost would be three hundred dollars. Alright, hope this helped.